here we are with uh, a load of wood and also another load of wood right here. And what we've got, this is, uh, this is the next morning, or this is morning, I should say, from when we got the load of wood. We're having a, as they say in the yachting business, a lay day. And <laughs> what, we, what we'll do here is we've got to cut all this up into uh, firebox size and uh, put it in the shed and we'll be just cutting the ends off and down the middle you know the routine and we'll be doing this we got some good stuff and some not so good stuff I say not so good stuff it's it's that size and it's actually quite good wood it's just it's a lot of cutting involved I would have really preferred sorry I would have really preferred to get more of that so we could use the splitter but unfortunately there goes the garbage guy. Well, actually, it's not the garbage guy, it's the, uh, the recycling dude. You probably can't hear him. He's sliding down the back there to the neighbor's place and he'll come back and around. I forgot the recycling last night. I forgot to put the bins out and I woke up with a stun on. Oh my God, I've got to dive out. So I dived out and uh, he's late. <laughs> That's the way it is. Anyway, it's not gonna help us cut all this wood up and put it in the shed so this is what we've got planned for at least this morning and maybe a bit of the afternoon as well Monday morning and it's foggy after the rain we got fog It is absolutely gorgeous this morning. Look at that. Look at that. That is brilliant. Happy Monday. And we're off on our walk. So they're telling us, don't touch your face. And we're always touching our face. Apparently that's how you get the virus. It's not necessarily walking through a cloud of someone who's sneezed, or that, that will probably do it. But um, touching surfaces that other people have touched and then touching your face, virus gets up your nose, in your eyes, then down your mouth. So what do you do? Don't touch your face. How do you not touch your face? Because you're forgetting you will have a scratch. It's one of the most sensitive parts of the body. So what do you do? I was talking to Mrs. Mac, we got out of the supermarket to get uh, milk and stuff like that. So I said, look, we've got disposable gloves. So you wear them. You got them on and you go, oh, not, uh, you won't touch your face with this, or you go into your face and you see your glove on, you know. Yeah. So that'll be one way of doing it, I think. But you just have to be careful. And me, I'm in the vulnerable age group, so I'm staying home. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but uh, I was just thinking disposable gloves will be the way to go when you're shopping, because every surface you touch is potentially exposed, you know? <laughs> 